Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna be going over how to get to being a $10,000 a month or more earning affiliate, which is also known as a super affiliate marketer. I'm gonna go over a few simple steps that I took to get there and that many of the others that I know who have reached that level or higher have taken to get to this hallowed place in affiliate marketing. Let's get it. John Cristani here, and I've been doing affiliate marketing since 2009. Now, I didn't start earning my first commissions uh, until 2012, so about four years later. And it's a difficult road to make a lot of money in affiliate marketing if you don't know what to do and you don't have a mentor. But fortunately for me, I figured all these pieces out. Over time, I'm gonna deliver you the three simple steps to getting to $10,000 a month or more as an affiliate marketer. Now, me, personally, I've been earning hundreds of thousands of dollars a month from affiliate marketing for a number of years now, about since 2015, 14, I've been at that level. So, uh, you know, it affords you a pretty nice life. And without further ado, let's get into the methods. So the first method is you'll want to get close to other super affiliates. Now, how do you get close to other super affiliates in an industry where it's all over the world and you can be literally wherever you want and nobody ever knows who you are? Now, first off, courses are obviously great because they give you an insight into to, uh, you know, what other successful people are doing, but there's nothing more powerful than actually knowing other super affiliates personally. Now they'll have the inside scoops on things that are working that aren't even mentioned in any courses that are even out there right now. They can also share things with you that they've just learned before it starts getting into the whole information product world or before you know people like me update our marketing courses with uh, whatever new tactic the guys on the fringe are just discovering. And best of all, if you have friends that or people you personally know that are making over $10,000 a month as an affiliate marketer, they can help you course correct if you're getting on the wrong direction or making a stupid error, like not split testing, which we'll go over in a little bit. You know, I got a mentor and the way I got a mentor, I actually started working for their affiliate program and I just followed, did whatever anybody told me to do in the affiliate program. And I'd email the people that ran the affiliate program. And I say, what do I do next? They said, do Facebook advertising or do Google advertising. I said, I'm doing Google ads. What should I do next? They say, get, get ranked, get on the top for these terms. And I'd get on the top. I just do whatever the affiliate program or the affiliate manager said. Also, to meet high level affiliates, it's just obvious that you should be going to events like Affiliate Summit uh, East or West or Europe or Asia, and you should be going to affiliate world conferences, which are held in Europe and Asia. I don't know when these are happening next, but Affiliate Summit is coming up in February of 2021. If you don't go to events like these, you are just not taking your business seriously. Now, from my personal experience, the best places to uh, meet top affiliates are usually whoever's bought tables at the club or just even in hallways or bars at the events. I like to try to meet people and have casual conversation with them, suss them out, figure out if they're, you know, in a non-confrontational manner, how much money or how wealthy they are and if they're doing affiliate marketing so I could figure out who I should know and who I should follow and what I should do to get to that place of success myself. And lead with value. Whenever you're meeting people, lead with value instead of being needy. And if you lead with value, it's easy to get into people's circles. I don't know how to make it more plain. If you want to become successful, you need to surround yourself with successful people. You need to make it part of your job to surround yourself with successful people. Otherwise, you're going to go nowhere. I mean, become friends with successful people. A lot of folks, and especially myself, used to think that, okay, if I don't have money, then what value am I to folks that are much more successful or richer than me. And what I realized was I had enthusiasm. You know, when I was 18, 19 years old, I had enthusiasm, I had work ethic, I had zero ego involved. If you're older, maybe you have wisdom, maybe you have other sorts of contacts, maybe you have enthusiasm, maybe you have, you know, skill sets in other areas. Again, never shortchange yourself and give yourself the benefit of the doubt and surround yourself with successful people.
So the second step to becoming a super affiliate marketer is staying up to date with current strategies. Now, super affiliates are always staying on top of the cutting edge strategies out there. Ad platforms change a lot. So if you don't stay up to date with, you know, new ad units or what ad networks are doing or new terms and conditions, then you're going to lose by default. This isn't stressful at all if you just kind of notice things when you're on social media platforms or you schedule time to just every once in a while see what new terms and conditions or features are available in each ad network. Also be willing to invest in the latest coaches and courses from proven super affiliates. There's a lot of folks like myself that are out there sharing their knowledge out there. Also, you know, shout out to Liam James K. He also is a YouTuber who, and an affiliate marketer who shares a lot of his strategies of what's working for him right now. Now, lots of entrepreneurs will meet super affiliates, but then they'll fall out of touch with them. And if you are one of those people who stays in touch with folks, then you'll become one of their friends. You know, I, I'll get people that message me all the time saying, how do I meet you, John? How do I meet you, John? And I tell everybody, go to Affiliate Summit. It's really easy. But if you don't go to an Affiliate Summit, if you don't go to the affiliate events, you won't meet any of these people. You won't stay in contact. Don't just go once. Go every single six months. Go every single year attend different affiliate marketing events all the time. One of the ways I stayed up to date on current strategies is I spent $10,000 to join a training course back in, I think this was 2014, taught by a very prominent affiliate marketer, Charles No. And I went to his, it was like a three or four day event uh, that was held in London. Again, I hopped on a plane all the way to London, right? I paid 10,000 for an event, but it put me in the know in a small room of people with some of the current strategies that a multi-million dollar earning affiliate marketer was making right then. And I was able to just take what I learned from Charles No and apply it to my own business. And that year I went from $1 million in 2014 to making $3 million in 2015. Again, the knowledge is out there and you can get every edge you want, you know, work with coaches and mentors. And the third tip to being a super affiliate is to just split test more than everybody else. I go over this over and over and over again, but folks want to find that shiny object. They want to find that magic combination on the lock that just unlocks money. And what people don't realize about that is that is a poor person's mentality. That is the same mentality that poor people have when they go to the gas station and they buy a lottery ticket is because poor people believe that wealth is an event. Wealth is something that just happens because poor people think short term, short term thinking. Again, wealth is not a long term process. They think it's an event, a lottery ticket, a magic combination on the internet, when really it's just a process. And that is long-term thinking, that is rich people mentality. And it, the process for marketing is split testing and cutting out everything that doesn't work and sticking with the ads, the landing pages, the targeting options, whatever, the messaging, that works the best and just continuing to improve over and over again. Many people just simply don't split test enough. People lose a little money in advertising. They freak out and they say, oh my God, I put up an ad. John Cristani told me to put up an ad and I put up an ad and I spent $5 and I didn't make any money. The internet's a scam. Nobody makes money on the internet, you know, or people try something and then they just stop working and switch strategies completely. What you need to do is you need to dig in and you need to go deeper than everyone else. You know, view it as buying data. That's what a lot of big affiliates call it. Instead of thinking about losing money, the more you know about what doesn't work, the easier it is to find what does. The best example of this is Thomas Edison. He failed 10 thousand times trying to build a light bulb. Most people, you know, would stop trying after once. They'd say, oh, let me try this. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, it's a scam, right? Whereas Thomas Edison tried 10 times 
It didn't work. Most people would say, ah, oh, light, it's a scam. It doesn't work. Light bulbs are a scam. Thomas Edison tried a hundred times, didn't work, kept going. A thousand times, kept going. 10,000 times he got it, and now he's gone down in history as one of the most successful inventors of all time. Yet he failed more than many other inventors were ever willing to fail. That's how you've got to be with being an entrepreneur. So just be willing to be testing, be willing to fail 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. If you wanna go down in history, be willing to fail 10,000 times because ultimately split testing is what everything comes down to in marketing. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this. If you have any questions, make sure to attend my Monday live streams. I got a little goodie bag for you guys every Monday. This week, I got a couple goodies and we're gonna be giving out a lot of different money. I'm getting gift cards. We have PayPal, we have prepaid debit cards, we have more PayPal cards, we have Fortnite, we have Xbox gift card, we have Nintendo, you know, online gift card, we have PlayStation gift card, and we have lots and lots of Amazon, what is this, Spotify, Netflix, Audible, we have a lot of gift cards, and I give them out to people who ask good questions and are involved in the learning process every Monday. So attend my live stream, make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of my live stream and make sure you enable the notifications so that when I go live every Monday around 9 a.m. that you are aware of it. So talk to you soon, have a good day and see you tomorrow.